you are welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Onye Chivangeline Choma and if you're interested in learning how to make the basic skirt then this tutorials is for you it's beginner friendly so without wasting much time let's dive into the tutorials so i have my measurements here these are the three measurements that i need from my client other ones i'll be deriving it so my i have my hip measurement here I have it here that my from my hip to my waistline you can go ahead and measure your clients from the hip to the waist I have nine inches then I have the full length of my gown to be a total of 24 inches okay so now I'll go ahead and insert my measurements so my waist measurement here is 30 inches I'm going to divide 30 inches by four so when divided by four I should have total of 7.5 so i'm going to mark 7.5 here then the hip i'm working with is 42 inches 42 inches divided by 4 i should have 10.5 so i'll go up here and mark 10.5 on the hip measurement this is 10.5 then i'm going to for the full length i'm going to deduct 2 inches from 10.5 Two inches from 10.5 so it depends on how tight or fitted you want your skirt to be if you don't want it very fitted you can use 1.5 okay so but I want mine fitted so I'll go ahead and connect these lines together using a very nice core this is for my center front Okay. So because I don't need that in my front panel, I'm going to be coming down here by one inch. Then I'm going to connect it to this waistline. So this becomes my new waist. My new waistline. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out this back pattern. So guys i'm done with the front panel this is what it looks like so after that i'm going to work on the second panel which is the back panel so i have about one and a half inches of allowance for my zipper this is one and a half all the way down then i have from my this is my waistline from my waistline to my hip line i have nine inches and from my hip line to the length i'm using 24 inches that is what we have there so without wasting much time, I'm going to start inserting the measurement. For my waist, we are using waist 30 inches divided by 4. We have 7.5. Then for this, we'll be using um, that allowance, that for the back part. And we're using that of 1 inch. 1 inch. Then for this side, I'm also going to be coming in towards this side by one inch towards the zipper side the zipper area by one inch so i mark the one inch over there and i'm going to be adding it back to this area so i have total of two inches of allowance for this waist area then for my hip i'm using hip measurement of 42 42 divided by 4, I have 10.5 inches. I'm not adding any allowance to it. I'm starting from this, after this zipper allowance, okay? Then the hem, we are reducing 2 inches just like we did here. We are reducing it by 2 inches and I'm marking my 10.5 inch right there. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the lines just like we did initially. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to this, my hip line. This is my hip line. I'm going to go ahead, connect it to my hip line. Then 
then I'll mark my darts. I'm using darts of one inch. So starting from here, my darts is 3.5. So I'm taking half an inch from both sides. Half inch from both sides. So the, the depth of my, my darts is five inches. So I also have 3.5. So I'm going to go ahead and connect it, then make my dart. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the excess. This is going, then this also is going. Let me go ahead and cut it so you can see. So at the end of the day, this is what we have. I'm going to notch the new zip allowance. You know, we took in one inch for the zip allowance. So I'm going to go ahead and notch the zip allowance. I'm going to notch. Then also notch the dart so that when I'm transferring it to my fabric, it will be way easier for me. So this is what we have then. From this, I'm going to be coming up by six inches, between six to seven inches for my dart. For my slit, rather. So it's seven inches so i'm going to mark seven inches right there just notch it so that when i'm transferring it on my fabric it will be easier for me to locate so this is it about basic sketch body so thank you very much for watching